The Breeze, where the most popular number is 69. In living color. And it's also brought to you by Viagra, something my Skype guests take a lot of. <laughs> Just... It's also brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Just... The drink of Viagra juices. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was just kidding about the whole... But anyway, this is our 10th game of the 1998 PC version of Jeopardy, in which so far I've won $444,000 in 9 games. Who knows? This could be the game where I make it to $500,000. We shall find out as we embark on this journey. Hello, let's find out. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Normal game. Okay, so how many people are out there? We'll make sure you have some good competition. Player 1, what's your name? My name is 69. <laughs> I thought you were going to say my Aunt Nana watches it every night on 69. And I broke Jay. Welcome to another game of Jeopardy. Alright, no. the first round of Oh, I broke J. that starts with 69 Oh my god. I can't believe I came up with that. I'll take numbers that start with 69 for 200 dollars. Let's get things underway. I'll start with familiar phrases for 100. A person with a hidden flaw is said to have yeah. of this from a dream image in Daniel chapter 2, verse 33. Feet of this. Player three. I don't know. What is clay? That's right. Feet of clay. All right. Player three, it's your turn. Many aquatic animals swim open mouthed and appear to drink constantly. Hence the phrase, to drink like one of these animals. What is to drink like a fish? Yes, indeed. Familiar phrases for 300. The depressing expression, down in these, is probably derived from a Middle Dutch word for haze. What are the dumps? Yes. Familiar phrases for 400. Okay. Tend to caught in the act. To be caught this way alludes to a murderer smeared with blood. What is red-handed? Why, yes. Familiar phrases for 500. If you're out of favor, you're in this pet residence. What is the doghouse? Well, that was weird. Someone had to rest if I was going to if I was playing the tuba. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and it'll for 100. The greatness of these large primates may be full of chimps or gorillas. Player three. Oh. What are apes? Apes. You are correct. Player three. Nevermore will we mention that a group of these birds is an unkindness. What are ravens? Correct. I'll take animal groups to 300. You'll hear many peeps out of a peep of these. Player what one. are... What are chicks? Mm, no. Regrettably, no. Chickens. Chickens. Okay. Animal Group's All right. Player one. When someone wishes you good these at Christmas, they may be referring to a group of magpies. What are tidings? Correct. Animal Group's for five. Gather a group of these animals in Wisconsin, and you'll have a seat. What are badgers? Yes, indeed. Tunnels for a hundred. Badger, 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 was constructed under the Strait of this. Oh, the, the Strait? Is it the Dover Strait? I'll say what is Dover. Correct. Yay. Tunnels for 300. Oh, Daily Double. Okay, 2400. I'd like to wager $669. Three 
what a man! Under the Mercy River, connect Birkenhead with this British port city. Uh, what is the city of... What is the city of Viagra? Number 69. No. No. Liverpool. Liverpool, so I dropped to 1731. Tunnels for 400. A string of tunnels runs under the Sierra Nevada Pass, named for a famous party. Player three. What is Donner Pass? Yeah. Exactly. His 1891 painting of a street in Tahiti is in the Toledo Museum of Art. Who is Paul Gauguin? That's correct. Artist for 200. Thomas Sully's 1815 portrait of this orator is in the Colonial Williamsburg collection. Player two? Who is Patrick Henry? Yep. You are correct. On June 5, 1967, this country launched an airstrike against Egypt. Oh, I think I know this. I'll try it. What is Syria? No. Uh, or is it Israel? Here is the correct Israel! Player two. Uh, in 1959, Hank Ballard and the Dick introduced this song that Chubby Checker later took to number one. What is one. the twist? Yes. Song 200. Player one, it's your turn. Who could ask for anything more? A line from this song was the title of Ethel Merman's autobiography. What is I Got Rhythm? Correct. Song for three. This song from High Society begins, I give to you and you give to me. What is, I don't know. What is true love? Yes. Yep. Prince Charles got a hungi, a traditional Maori greeting, when he visited this country in February 1994. What is New uh, Zealand? Yes! The 20th century for 300. In 1994, for the first time since 1980, the U.S. built more vehicles than this country. What is Japan? I don't think Japanese, I think Japanese, I really think so. 20th century 400. In 1979, this cabinet department was created with Shirley Hofstadler as its first secretary. Player three. What is the Department of Education? Yeah. That's correct. He frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanalee. Who is Puff what? the Magic Dragon? Yes. Songs for 500. The theme from Love Story is also known by this title, the first four words of the song. Oh, oh, shoot. What is, where do I begin? Oh, I knew that one. Why, yes. Oh, well. Picasso's family of salt and bunk shows people who work for one of these. <laughs> what is a circus? To be sure. Artists and their subjects for 400. It's your turn, player one. In 1930, she created a series of paintings of a jack in the pulpit. Who is Georgia O'Keeffe? You are correct. Artists and their subjects for 500. Raymond Schneider sculpted this biblical couple for a chapel in Würzburg, Germany. Who are Adam and Eve? That's right. 20th century for five. In 1994, this Pontiac, Michigan stadium became the first indoor facility to hold a World Cup soccer match. Player three. I don't know. What is the Silver Dome? Yes. Never knew it. The first tunnel under this Egyptian waterway <laughs> was opened in 1980. Player three. Suez Canal? What is the Suez Canal? Oh, I knew that one. Why, yes. Oh, well. All right, that's the end of the Jeopardy run. But I'm in the lead right now with $4,131. Player one? 200 for player two? You're in first place. 2700 for player three. All right, players, get ready for double, double Jeopardy. Jeopardy. The double Jeopardy categories are as follows. 20th century America. Pen names around the world, inventors, saints, and finally, holidays and observances. Player two. In 1907, A. Mutt 
the first successful daily comic strip was launched. It would later be called this. Where to? What is Mutton Jack? That's right. In 1987, 19-year-old Matthias Bruce penetrated 400 miles of Soviet defenses, landing his Cessna in this square. What is Red Square? That's it. Run to Central America for 600, please. In 1950, eating out became easier with the introduction of this first credit card. Uh, what is uh, Diamond Club? Correct. Run to Central America for 800. Your choice, player one. In 1922, DeWitt Wallace and his wife, Lila Atchison, founded this monthly magazine. I think it's Time Magazine. What is Reader's Digest? No, Reader's Digest, okay. Yes, indeed. This March observance has been called the most important national holiday in Ireland. What is St. Patrick's Day? Correct. All days of observance is before, Andrew, please. On August 30, this state observes Huey P. Long Day. What is Louisiana? Correct. All days and observances for 600. It's the date on which the anniversary of D-Day and South Korea's Memorial Day are observed. What is June 5th? That's wrong. Oh. Uh, Player 3. What is June 6th? I was off by one. Correct. June 6th. This Lolita author wrote nine Russian novels under the name V. Siren. Player 3. Who is Vladimir Nabokov? Right you are. Try saying that ten times fast. Player three. While a student, this Andromeda Strain author used the pen names John Lang and Jeffrey Hudson. Player like three starting to catch up to me. That's not good. Hopefully she'll ring in and get it wrong. No. Here is the correct response. Michael Crichton. Michael Crichton. Okay, player three. In 1753, George Rickman was electrocuted trying to duplicate this man's lightning experiment. Who is Benjamin Franklin? Yes. Measures for 400. In 1868, he formed a company in Stamford, Connecticut to produce his new cylinder locks. Player two? Who is Linus Yale? Yes, indeed. The name of these South American mountains may be derived from anti. A Keshwan word for East. What are the Andes? Correct. Around the world for 400. Women of India often break the end of this wrapped garment over their heads. What is a sari? That's correct. Yay! Around the world 600. Okay, contestant one. Almost all Bedouins in the Middle East speak this language. I'm going to take a guess to say what is... Nope, there's only one A there. What is Arabic? Yes. Around the world for 800? This grain is Mao's chief agricultural product. Pretty sure it's right. You are correct. Around the world for 1,000. Queen's University, one of the two universities in Northern Ireland, is in this capital city. What is Belfast? That's correct. But a holiday from Zerbs' brain. The Megillah, our story of Esther, is read on this Jewish holiday. I'm going to say what is Passover. No. Ah. Uh. Player two? What is Purim? You are... Oh, good. Purim. Player two? Uh-oh. Well, player two can't catch me right now. Because he only has 1,600. I have 7,531. He's going all in. This American inventor of the microphone became a commander of the... Oh, are you kidding me? I know this one. Here's your clue. Take a look. I know this one. Yes, I do. Who is Alexander Graham Bell? Yep. Oh, oh no, it's not Alexander Graham Bell. Hang on. Thomas Edison. Yeah. In 432, he succeeded Palladius as Bishop of the Irish. Who is uh, St. Patrick? Correct. Saints for 400. Oh, the other day the double. Okay. 2269. In art, this of the Virgin Mary is often depicted as an old man. Who is St. Joseph? Correct. 
Thanks for 600. Saint Stanislaus, the pagan saint of this country, was Bishop of Krakow. What is Poland? That's correct. Saint 300. Saint Francis Borgia was the third superior general of this group, also called the Society of Jesus. Were the Jesuits? That's it. Saints for a thousand? Player one, what'll it be? Saint Andrew, one of the twelve apostles, was the brother of this other apostle. Oh. Who was Peter? Yeah, Peter. Yes. William Sidney Porter wrote The Ransom of Red Chief under this pen name. Player three. Who is O. Henry? Yeah. Correct. His early work appears in an obscure Armenian language publication under the name Sirak Gorian. Player three is starting to catch me. Who is William Saroyan? Uh, yes. Yep. He wrote The Big Needle as Simon Miles, and Eye of the Needle as himself. Don't know. I don't know about this. Who is Ken Follett? That's correct. Wow. The first president to proclaim this holiday as the third Sunday in June was Lyndon B. Johnson in 1966. What is Father's Day? You are correct. Okay, I'll have 20th Century America for a thousand. What'll it be? He served as Secretary of the Navy before becoming Governor of Texas in 1963. Oh. Oh, was it Lyndon Johnson? Who is John Connolly? Yes, indeed. Oh, John Connolly. His first frame breaking system in the 1860s used steam, not compressed air. Oh, boy. Who is George Westinghouse? He's the one. You are correct. In 1888, he published his new shorthand method in light line phonography. Where oh! Who is John Robert Gregg? I don't think... Oh, that is right. That takes us to the end of this round. So it's not a runaway game because player three's on the verge of catching me, but player two can't catch me. Player two? Oh, I guess it's just not your day. No, it's not. Let's see what our category is for Final Jeopardy. Authors. I'd like to wager $7,069. Here's the Final Jeopardy answer. He adapted a rejected treatise on exploring Africa by balloon into an 1863 novel, his first big success. Who was Jules Verne? Player two, your question. Yep. That's correct. What did you wager? Now you're showing off. Player three, your question. H.G. Well, that right. is wrong. Let's see how much it costs you. Bye bye, Joe. Just not your day. Player one, let's take a look at your question. That's right. And your wager was. Now you're showing off. Nineteen thousand four hundred sixty-nine dollars. Congratulations. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. So in uh, so in ten games, I've won four hundred sixty-three thousand four hundred sixty-nine dollars. Already. Sixty-nine. And I get to do an 11th game soon, which I can't wait for.
And we'll see y'all for our next video coming soon. Raw!